So with Halloween rapidly approaching, I've been looking for a way to get into the spooky spirit. And I was thinking, what if there was a way we can combine my love of Halloween with bureaucracy? And then a friend of mine sent me Death and Taxes. So yeah, that's right. We're talking about Death and Taxes. It's a kind of an indie game, I guess you can call it. And you play as the Grim Reaper, but not the kind you're used to. This Grim Reaper is a government employee tasked with deciding who lives and who dies based on a stack of paperwork. And it's like a lot of papers, like more papers, like papers, more papers, papers, please. But you're just another cog in the machine. You have to make decisions about who lives, who dies and uh, make the tough choices. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. But before we get into all that, let's take a look at the options as I like to do. Okay, so we got the uh, full screen resolutions. There we go, full screen, general. Okay, cool. Skip profile, mark confirmation. No, we're not gonna do any of that. Streamer settings, it's got streamer settings. Okay, cool. So I guess we can go into streamer mode, but I will not be streaming. We're just gonna do sort of a let's play. And gallery, I don't have anything. Oh wait, okay, I don't have anything. Did that? That said something earlier. Okay, well, we don't have anything else, so let's go ahead and click in the new game, see what's up. All right, so we're not, we're not gonna skip intro. We can scroll the wheel. Okay, there we go. Is that me? Oh, no, it's not me. Fate, keeper of world order. Okay, and when life gives you lemons, you sweep the leg. No remorse, no mercy. Okay. Why is he out? Why is he out like reenacting Beatles album covers? Market. No, let's get more lemons. Someone tap someone. Oh, you don't tap. Let's go back. Somebody tap me in the head like that. They getting punched. There you go. See, I told you. He's angry. Mark it. I leave. He's still angry. He's looking very creepily outside of 1801. And now he's doing some mystical incantations. Oh, he made a little skull. Oh, he's making me. This is me. I'm the Grim Reaper. Okay, can we get... Ooh. Oh, this is like that guy from the, uh, the, the... The torch guy from the movie. The uh, Suicide Squad. Or from Coco. Ballin', uh, I guess we could say Mama Coco. The, ooh, I like the Invisible Man one. Okay, we're gonna go with this guy. He looks very ethereal. Ooh, oh, I like this. I like this, we're gonna go with that. Begin the afterlife, is there more scrolling to do? No, no more scrolling. Begin the afterlife, yes. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. What a... Momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number four, five. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. All right, so we have our selections here and. Ooh. Yeah, I don't care much of being just 45. Can I be fate? Another ironic one. Great. No, you may call yourself the Grim Reaper, as that is what you are. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. Well, at least I'm working in a wine region. That's cool. I know what you are thinking, and yes. Your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <coughs> Clear? So is that how you say, <coughs> uh, now that I learned something new, so, uh, wait, I have to kill people? Or I'm not ready for this. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's say, you know what? Okay, whatever you say, boss. Delightful. I appreciate solid work ethics and a dedication to the craft. Hmm. 
Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. Okay, so right away I know you're probably going to want to have to play this game because he's talking really slow. I mean, good atmosphere and the voice acting is good. It's just, I'm like, talk faster, just a little bit faster. So, all right, so I was born to do this. Yes, you were, literally. I will now show you your workplace. But I don't want to just click through One it. One more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Okay, so I get one week. Let's check out being a Reaper. Let's see what this gameplay is like. Okay, so I have a desk. My phone is going off. Uh, let's see, what does it say? Tech Bros, check out these awesome personal jetpacks. Scroll the mouse, nothing's coming up. Don't care. All right, welcome, Grim. Here are the files and humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I am granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Quote for the day, one human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on the first day, fate. Okay, that's cool. Put that back down, there's nothing here. It looks interesting, but I can't click it. All right, so one of you people need to die. Hmm. Ewald Buddy, age 32, neurosurgeon. Ewald was a child prodigy. He's been performing brain surgery since the age of 18. He's well-established as a medical professional in academia and in practice, Ewald is addicted to adrenaline and is well known for taking great personal risks. He's gonna die, it's just, it's gonna be him. Jonathan Carey, 39, lawyer. Jonathan enjoys doing pro bono work at various penal facilities all over the country in order to reduce sentences for minor offenders. In their free time, they like to go train spotting with friends. Oh, he's gonna live. All right, so this guy, oh, I need my marker. There you go, can't just click it. So live, yes. And then, do I gotta put my marker back? Oh no, then I can just go right to this guy and you gotta die because he's addicted to adrenaline and he takes personal risks, so it only makes sense. All right, so I think that's it. So I put my pin back down, confirm my choices. There you go, I did good. Ooh, I got like a whole office. Okay, so mouse scroll. Okay, do I want to talk to him? No, let's let's look around first. Ooh, Cerebus is dead. Can I get out? Uh, it's not open for me. Oh, what is this? What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. As you may guess, I am Mortimer, the Mortimer, the one you may have heard of, the famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster. Okay, that's cool. So he's a pirate. Would you? You wouldn't download a soul, would you? That's a crime. Okay, so the Mortimer, it's great honor. But make sure. Uh, let's 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 feed into his ego. I, tis me, terror of the ways. I might have grown most humble with age, but tales of my thunderous exploits will live forever. Grown humble with age, dude. You look like you are uh, on your last leg. Your skin and bones, man. Skin and bones. All right, so can I buy stuff Hi. here? Let's get to the nitty gritty. Dream. The Emporium. Browse at your will. He's yelling too. Okay, well, um, looks like I can't afford anything. So let's go back to the elevator. All right, let's go talk to my boss. We're gonna get, ooh, look at this guy. Why is he walking like that? Come on, get in, get in. Oh, guess this isn't his final destination. All right, let's get up here. Talk to my boss, whoa. Oh, I can click. Okay, you can click below and above, too. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? Really good. Great. 
We are counting on your dedication. You do important work, after all. Why, thank you. Remember, lives are on the line. Okay. I see exactly one person perished today, as task. Did you figure out the best choice? To be honest, I gave a simple one to begin with. There was no best choice. Sometimes none of the options are good. Not for everyone. But I did do the best one. I did the lesser of two weebles. Get it? Two weep? Okay, you know what? If you haven't seen Master and Commander, you wouldn't get that joke. But I think it's funny. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of cosmos. Question? Uh, no. I'm ready. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines. And keep up the good work. Sure thing, boss. A new day awaits. Off you go now. That's a that's a very fluffy looking cat you got there. All right, so let's see if we can click a button. Oh, right there. Oh, we can go to bed. Can we can we do anything else? No. Okay. So day one, day one of my new job working at the DMV. Well, not DMV, but you get the point. It feels like the DMV. Nice and slow, lots of paperwork. I decide who lives or lives or dies. Oh, what are these little ghosts? What is that? I decide who lives and dies. Oh, wait, is this where? This is my office right here. All right, let's get to the office. Oh, Dos Fax Machina. Okay, what do we got on my phone here? Crow News, local hobbyist wins photo competition. Freight train dies in fatal ca fatal crash. Researcher experimental surgery cures epilepsy halt due to with grant withdrawal. Wait, 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 grant withdrawal. Okay, doesn't give any more. All right, so whatever. Let's look at Grim Mail. Put the phone down. All right, morning, Grim. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them, and you'll be okay. I'm handing you another simple task. Quote of the day: One human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Business as usual fate all right so you need to have an industrial background or engineering background to die let's take a look he's a stone cutter automotive engineering and veterinary all right so one of you two need to die so right away the vet's gonna live let's go ahead and mark her i don't even need to read her thing hold on make sure she's not the mouse whisperer she might be the pied piper but she gets to live i'm gonna click this so it doesn't keep coming up there you go. I right, put you down. Now let's see. Umberto doesn't really have much to do these days at a manufacturing plant as automation has made car building much faster and more efficient. Mostly to, they look at computer screens, checking for errors. At home, they love tinkering with their old 77DO Pulsar. He's pretty cool. And he kind of looks like me too. Handsome devil. All right. Gerdhart cuts and carves stone blocks out of stone at the local quarry. That's basically it. There's very little else going on in their lives. Their dream is to visit some of the highest mountains in the world and maybe cut a tiny chunk of stone of those two. Okay, so these guys are both pretty bland. He is just looking for air, but he, okay, see, he is air checking automation for cars because you gotta have humans. That's the, that's the issue we're having now. AI is taking over, but we still need humans to provide oversight or that's how Skynet happens. So this guy can't die because he's checking for errors and we don't want Skynet. So we're going to let him live. Now you, if I go against the rules, I'll let you live. But no, I think you're just, you're just cutting stones. I can, um, I can 3D print houses now, so we're good. All right. Confirm my choices. Let's go get my brief. Day two out of the way. Grim, how was the second day on the job? Great! It gladdens me to hear that. So, did you follow the rules properly? I did. Great. Yes, everything looks to be in order. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Sounds great. Great indeed. 
We could use more spawns with your attitude. Uh, you don't call us spawns anymore. You call us eternally damned souls. Thank you. Man, it's 2023. Jesus. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. That stupid cat. Did that cat have that blue collar on last time? Where did, what did that cat have this last time? Hmm. All right, so I think it's bedtime. Let's go ahead and head on down to bed. End the day. All right, let's do day number three, and then I think I'll wrap it up. I think I get a good gist of what the game is like, and I, I'm really enjoying it, actually. All right, got my new facts. Bring me those new people. Ooh, ooh. I wonder what's inside of, what's this? All right, hero alert. Air veterinarian saves the day after pacifying a horde of angry, angry, hungry, angry mice. See, that was me. And that was also me. So could have crushed an avalanche. What? Construction flaws being hidden and troubling. Is that from the car? That better not be from the cars. Because that means I saved that guy's life and it was pointless. So there might be a little bit, there might be some tricks here. All right, let's see. Let's see what my quote is. All right, two humans have to die. A new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now. Just in case, here's another simple one. No special requests today. Try and follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles and send them to hell. I mean, no, send them to me by fax. All right, two humans have to die. Keep up the good work for you. All right, so two humans have to die. We've got Superman here, Columba Hunter, war veteran, working hard as a well-regarded passenger airline, extremely interested. Okay, you know what? He has five children. He might have to live. And plus he's an airline pilot. If I kill him, maybe he's gonna crash a plane, so we can't do that. Scott works at the dentist, but sometimes regret not becoming a scientist. Think it's too late to switch careers. He occasionally quenched their thirst by trying to invent new tooth filling materials. I don't know. All right, Leo Bajarski has been in politics for over 40 years, meddling, whoa. Oh, relaxing the meddling in real estate. Although nobody's found proof, there have been rumors that Leo has taken money from bribes and... Ah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. He might have to go. You know what? Let's just get rid of Leo right now. Let's go ahead and mark Leo off of the, off of the list now. All right. Krista Sind has worked in resale for 20 years. Uh, real estate, not resale. Got a nice house, they'll sell it. Got a crooked house, they'll sell that too. Even fetching a high price. Some say deficiencies must be concealed. Of course, but money is money, right? Hmm, you're 50 years old, you've lived a long and fruitful life, and you're cheating people out of money, possibly. So you get to go. All right, Roberta Williams. Roberta enjoys crafting stories that make people feel all kinds of different emotions. Their main interest is exploring thimbo villain relationship dynamics. In the free time, they like to write mildly erotic fan fiction and argue with nerds on Cocker. Now, it's a plus for the mildly erotic fan fiction, but it's a minus for arguing with nerds. But we're, we like feeling emotions, right? We like, well, I'm dead. Do I really want to feel emotions? Eh, yeah, we like feeling emotions. Let's go ahead and keep you. I want to keep the airline pilot because I feel like he's just going to crash the plane. Like he's going to die mid-flight. Uh, politics. Yeah, he's already he's already slated to go. Works as a dentist. He, you know, he's aspiring to be a better person. You know, like, you know, and Scotty doesn't know unless it's Scott Sterling. So we're gonna go live. All right. So did I get everybody? Let's check. All right. And I think only two people needed to die. Right. So one, two, and it was just two humans. Yep. And we're gonna see what happened. What happened on day three as a result of my cleansing. Is there anything down here to see now? Nope, I don't want to see that power guy, he's creepy. All right, get back up here. What you got? Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Awesome, balancing the world and getting things done. Excellent, that is what I hope. As you may imagine, it is important to keep morale up in our line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. 
Go ahead. As you can see, I did top-notch work, boss. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. Yep, can't stop me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shut up, stupid cat. Oh, thank you for reminding me, Lady Poddington. Okay, Grim, about your payment, which I may have forgotten about earlier. Oh, okay, cat. I like you. Thanks. You're one, you know, thoughtful uh, kitty cat. So, let's see here. I was supposed to get paid this whole time? Yes, an unfortunate uh, oversight. It's my money and I need it now. Worry not. You will be getting back pay for the missing days. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Oh, okay. I, for a second there, I thought he said every death gets paid a fair salary. Like, you're going to pay me for every death. Oh, that's a good way to bring about the apocalypse, buddy. People die and I get rich. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not get your fee at all. Okay, so now I can see there's going to be some sort of dilemma there where I'm going to have to make a choice to do the right thing and not get paid, but, but, but I like money. I like money. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total, even if the primary task is executed correctly. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Look at that, and I got my money. Nice. Okay, so that's pretty much all I need to see. I like this game. I appreciate it. My good friend Jigglebilly sent me a copy. He said, you got to check this game out. And I told him I'd do a review on it. So there we go. This is my Let's Play slash review. The gameplay loop is what you see here. You go by days, you save people or not save. What's the opposite of save? Forsake? Yeah. Forsake people, save people, sleep, wash, rinse, repeat. And then I'm assuming all these other floors are going to open up either during the course of the game or maybe DLC. You can buy things to deck yourself out from the guy down here, although you shouldn't pirate Lost Souls unless you're like, you know, uh, what's it, uh, Captain Jack Sparrow? Captain Black Sparrow. So I like that. Or Davy Jones. So I know the game is very good. The art style is very crisp, clean, and it's very consistent throughout everything you see. And I think the minimalist, the minimalist, if I can say that word, art style, really kind of draws you into the sort of 70s vibe, bureaucracy, just do what you gotta do type of thing. The music's cool, and I'm kind of looking forward to see where this is gonna go. So, just a quick recap. I love the game, good options. You can play on uh, HD, which is my thing. I hate games you gotta downscale for. Gameplay is fun, gameplay loop is fun. I haven't played Papers, Please, although I've owned it forever. I think I might go back and visit that, but this game is amazing. All right, guys, if you get a chance to play it, let me know. And if you want to see more about this particular game, let me know down in the comment section below. I know it's an older game, so who knows? The world probably moved on by now. Me, I'm just now getting started. All right, guys, thanks for joining me, and I will catch you later. Now, let's go see what this pirate wants to do down here. <laughs>